God's way is perfect. All the Lord's promises prove true. He is a shield for all who look to him for protection. Psalms 18 verse 30. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a updated, kind of like my updated makeup routine when I want to go full glam, including eyeshadow. And every day I don't wear eyeshadow. Um, I barely do full glam on an everyday basis. I barely wear makeup on an everyday basis. But I'm going to, this is my makeup routine for when I want to go out, you know, quick go to, quick date night quick birthday glam i'm gonna be doing the whole shebang um so i wouldn't really say it's a soft glam the first thing you want to do is prioritize your skin your skin is very important that is the face yeah that is the foundation of your makeup routine i'm not even saying have perfect skin but make sure the base is well taken care of before you apply you know the product onto your face at this point i'm repeating myself but i'm going to repeat myself because not everyone watches the subscriber some people may be new here and i just want to say prioritize your skin as much as you prioritize you know mastering a full glam my skincare routine is very simple i've actually recorded it guys so i'm going to upload it i always ensure that my skin is hydrated 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 my natural skin i like it when it's shiny i like my makeup to be glowy too i am going to go in with my laura mercier pure canvas primer they have different ones to cater to different skin types this is the hydrating one i like to ensure that my skin is nice and hydrated i should not have applied like that i should have used my hand but it's okay i haven't applied a bit too much it's okay you can never be too primed do you understand so i'm gonna go in and just i more or less applied to my t-zone as well as hydrating my skin it also holds my makeup in place yeah this is definitely my favorite primer the pure canvas range so for my eyebrows i use the sleek makeup micro fine brow pencil i just outline underneath my eyebrow like so and then i brush that into my brow and then i'm going to take hair like strokes throughout my eyebrow like so and then I take some to the front I find that when I do hair like you know strokes at the front of my brow my brow looks a lot more thicker it's not completely different but there's a bit of a difference and then to conceal my eyebrows I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer and this is in the shade Chestnut the mirror I have is from Seattle London all my mirrors are from Seattle London they're funny but I like them so I'm just going to conceal I start the arch down to the tail and then move forward to the front of my brow and then the excess that's on my brush I just go underneath and then bring the product down onto my eyelid I'm going to take this brush from Zorea and I'm just going to blend out that concealer. I'm just going to take some setting powder and set my eyelids. Now I'm going to take my Morphe 35A Up Till Dawn Artistry Palette and it's just like a really it's kind of like neutral earth tones i'm gonna go in with these shades and these shades shade right here for my transition color trust me once you know how to do this eyeshadow i'm about to do you can pretty much apply it to any eyeshadow you'll be able to do any eyeshadow um if you want like a winged cut crease type eyeshadow let me know and i'll do that one but this is like a normal eyeshadow placement tutorial so i'm going to take this transition color the transition color is the color that pretty much blends everything so blends out the whole crease color into your eyebrow brow bone sorry so i'm going to take that it it's like a burnt orange and i'm just going to take that above my eyelids into 
my crease really really soft like that these are my morphe vegan brushes and i'm gonna go in with a brown so this is the brown that i'm gonna take and i apply more to the outer corner rather than inner but i work it in inwards dust off my brush and then go in and blend that inwards so i'm pretty much applying it where my crease line is as you're blending it out it will kind of like merge with the transition color go back in with that transition color and just blend that in to just merge everything together i'm gonna go in with either one of these shades i'm gonna go on top with the lighter shade though just to like so if you do want like this to like really really you know stand out you could go in with like an eyeshadow base i like the juvia's place ones and the be perfect ones you just want to make sure there's no harsh lines unless that's the look you're going for if the looks like you're going for no problem if it's not the look you're going for Try to ensure that there's no harsh lines and you can't see where you've placed it unless that's the look you are going for once again. Then I'm going to go in with this eyeliner. This is the Last in Precision um, pencil. So this is in the shade number 16 which is black. Fun fact, I used to work at Kiko. I like it also because it's actually black. You know there's some products that are a bit off black. This is black with off black. I've actually concluded that this makeup look is not going to be under 10, under 10 minutes. So I apologize, but I'm giving you guys like everything. So I'm going to go in with the black in the eyeshadow palette. I like it because it's a bit, it's powder, but it's a bit creamy also. I don't know, it's weird. So I'm going to pat that on top around the edges. Just pat it lightly on top in an angled motion as if you're going to do like a wing i'm going to take the brown and i'm just going to blend out the edge of that but before i blend out fully i'm going to take a bit of that into my crease so my crease has a bit of the black it's a bit confusing but you can see what i'm actually doing so i'm going to take a bit of that into my crease upwards and then this black line here yeah i'm going to blend it out i'm going to add and blend add and blend go in between going back and forth in between my black and my brown to create a darker diffused um like smoked out liner effect and i'm just going to blend out that product that i took upwards it's easy to mess up at this point if you feel like you don't want to blend upwards by all means don't it is very it's kind of chaotic because i'm doing two things at once but i'm gonna go in with the black again i'm gonna just blend it out upwards if you understand what i'm saying yes uh-huh don't mess me up don't embarrass me on the day that everything's going nicely okay so cool i got the vision cool this is how it needs to look and I'm gonna like blend out a bit so it's not too harsh to the point where it looks like it's an actual wing I want it to look a bit smoked out so it's not really like a sharp wing but it's there as you can see the wing is unnecessary I mean you don't have to do the wing by all means just leave it here and just blend it out so for example you can stop like here you don't have to like wing it out and it will like give you the same like it won't give you the same effect like not cap but you know not everyone likes the winged out look so you can actually just stop it here i'm not going to call this a, this is not even a soft glam anymore this is a full glam let me be honest let me keep it real this is a full glam we're going all the way to the max we started it might as well finish so i'm gonna add some razzmatazz <laughs> i'm gonna go with 2am gem 
Okay, this is really razzmatazz. I think it's a bit too much. I don't know. I'm going to take this in my inner corners. And trust me, at the end, it will make sense. It may not make sense now, but you have to... Listen, with makeup, you have to believe and trust. Trust and believe that you will end well. I do feel like it's a bit too dramatic, but it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. Okay, so this is a liquid highlighter by Refai. The perfect chroma cover foundation. And it is in the shade W11. It is £19.95. I think that's good for a full coverage foundation. And this is how much highlighter I have. This is how the foundation spreads out. It's actually like a little will go a long way. Let me just say that. So this is one, you know, scoop. And this is enough for this side of my face. I just want to do one side to show you how nice it looks. Or how, you know, we'll see. The camera always, you know, <laughs> I can never tell the camera. The camera might show you guys a different side that I haven't seen to this foundation. But let's see. I haven't used this brush before, but it's really, it looks really nice. I'm going to try it out. Just going to blend that into my skin and it blends really 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 nicely and I like how the um the gloss highlighter will give my skin a nice glow because what I want to do is maintain the glow underneath my foundation okay it's not too bad like, I thought it would look dramatically different but it doesn't so I'm going to look my whole face I'm just going to blend that in further. Like it just looks so good. I don't know if it's the highlighter. Maybe I should try it without the highlighter for you guys. But I have and I still think it's a really good foundation without the highlighter. But I'm just being extra with the highlighter. I'm going to go in with the concealer. The same Born This Way concealer. I'm going to use this to conceal. And then this to highlight. This is in the shade. Same concealer. But in the shade sand. I'm gonna take chestnut underneath my eyes. And I'm using the applicator to like to spread it out. I'm just gonna take that on the inner corners on the bridge of my nose. That's the only places that I apply the lighter concealer. I'm gonna blend out that concealer, the chestnut concealer first. I just blend out the edges and then I let that sit whilst I cream contour or cream bronze. In my last one I showed you guys the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I still love that con um, cream bronzer but this one is a lot more subtle in color and it's also very good i like them both you can see some nice brown this is in the shade laguna i'm gonna take that up here right here not too much it's a lot more red toned and a lot more subtle than the anastasia beverly hills in chestnut which is my favorite i'm gonna blend out that bronzer into my skin this brush is so weird <laughs> but it's doing the job at least it's so weird but it does the job just gonna blend that in I'm just ready to be done because it's so small it's taking me a longer time to blend but I will get there so it did a it did a little bit of something it didn't do too much but it did enough and that's what we want. We don't want too much. We want enough. I'm going to go in and blend out my nose first. And what I like to do is I like to take it upwards into my forehead as well. Start with the under directly in my inner corner. And I blend outwards like that. And I apply my lighter concealer here because I know I'm going to blend it outwards anyway. So it's eventually going to distribute to the rest of the under eye area. 
like so. This is my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder and this is in the shade Banana Bread. I just press it. I like to take it really lightly and then press it into my skin and when I need to add more I will go and add more. So I like to use a lighter layer. Guys it actually looks airbrushed. Wow. So I'm just going to take that powder under my brows because I just don't like it when it looks like wet concealer. Beauty Bay brush in BB 104 is an angled I use it to bronze. Hula bronzer in the shade toasted. I just packed on top. Like so I don't know, I just don't like sweep like this. I just pat it on. Same thing for my forehead. Clean up the sides of that nose contour and brighten my under eye. Just take it and just bake for a second. Dark deep powder, and this is the face powder that I use by MAC. It's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I swear by this powder. If they ever discontinue this powder, I don't know what I will do. But this is a great face powder. This is the BB. 101 brush and just um, set my foundation in place and like this doesn't like mattify your skin to the max I mean the more you apply the more matte it becomes but it doesn't like over overdo it like that you can see ugh. let's keep going and I'm just gonna extend that all the way to my tear duct and then I'm just going to sweep off just one sweep I don't like go back and forth and sweep like that I just take one sweep and that is intentional because there will be a little bit of residue as you can see I've swept it but it's not done, like it's still there. You do not want to leave your makeup like this. You want to take a brush, the sponge, and just blend that in to your skin. Blending it into my nose contour as well. Big blush, and the blush I'm going to use is the Juvia's Place um, Volume 1 Blush Duo. Mix the two shades together and apply it onto my cheek blend out so there's no line of demarcation line of blush application um, I spray my face before I do my highlighter so I'm going to spray my face and then do my highlighter this is the super fix super hold set and spray by revolution I'm going to spray my face As it dries down, I'm going to take my mascara, this is the NARS mascara, it's the Climax Extreme mascara and I'm just going to apply this to my lashes. I'm going to use the Ciate London Glow 2 highlighter and it's in the shade Moon Dust. I don't know if this is my actual shade, I should have got a darker shade but it will be a makeshift one. I feel like it can still do what I want it to do. I do like the formula. I do like how it's like fairy dust, like the way it applies. I'm just going to take that onto my cheeks. Sorry guys, my camera actually died as I was speaking. Apply it to my forehead like this. Apply it to my other cheek. Apply it to my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my, eye, my brow bow. These are eyelashes from Amazon. I've been using them a lot recently. The last thing I do to my face all the time without fail is I apply liquid blush. If you want your makeup to look rosy, glowy, dewy, 
I apply liquid blush at the end. I always apply liquid blush. The one that I use is the Pixi one. And this is the Pixi blush on the glow blush stick. Another good one is the Laura Mercier one. But I'm going to use the on the glow blush stick in Ruby. I just apply that on top of my blush. And you can see, like, it just goes all rosy. But let me finish. I take my dewy setting spray by this is the super dewy setting spray by revolution i'm just gonna set my face this is a fixing spray i take the huda beauty lip liner in lip contour 2.0 in rich brown this is a great lip liner great color you know it's the automatic one so you just twist it up perfect i'm just gonna line my lips I take this Kiko lipstick, it's the Festival Glow lipstick in 02. I want it to be a bit more nude. I'm going to take a little bit of the Juvia's Place Barely There lip gloss, which is a bit pink, but I'm going to take it in the middle. So this is the, this is how everything came out. Um, I am happy with the result. I do feel like the lighting has been all over the place, but if you are still here, I appreciate you. You are a real one. All the products that I use, every single product I use will be in the description box down below. Um, all my other social medias, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. I'm starting to get into TikTok as well. That's the end of the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it every bit because I enjoyed creating it. And I hope to see you in my next video. If you like this action, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Stay blessed, stay safe and stay prayed up.